the water right now. Just jump back in. He's heading out to that Central she Island. Lion He's going to be working with Brittany. This so is eight years old. We just weighed him this morning. He's 267 pounds right now. Uh, both of our sea lions are rescues, which means they were born out of the wild. But while they were out there, they ran into a little bit of trouble. So they were taken in by the Marine Mammal Care Center down in Southern California. And then they were deemed non-releasable, which is how they found our permanent home to us. So for Cisco, he needed to be rescued because while he was out there in the ocean, he met one of the sea lion's top predators. Does anybody want to guess what that predator might have been? I think I heard a few people say shark. If you didn't say that, you are correct. I know, Cisco, you were a really lucky sea lion and you got away from that shark. Um, however, he does still have a scar left over from that shark bite. That's what that pink spot is down by his back flippers. So due to that scar and some limited mobility that he had when he was first rescued, they decided it'd be a lot safer for him to come out here where we can take good care of him and where he no longer has to worry about any more predators. Around the same time Cisco is found, they found his buddy Reyes, who's going to be working with Hallie. Reyes is seven years old and he weighed in at 244 pounds this morning. Looks like he might come out a little bit closer for everybody. For Reyes, he needs to be rescued because when he was found, he had a really severe eye infection. His left eye was too damaged to be saved, so it had to be removed instead. He also has a little bit of scarring in the one eye that he does have. So this means he has really limited vision that would have made it too difficult for him to hunt for his own fish. So that's why he came to live here. As you can see, Hallie's handed all of his food right to him, so he doesn't have to worry about hunting. We're also able to take really good care of the one eye that he does have by giving some, him, him some eye drops on a regular basis. Looks like he just got some of those now. And now he's been doing really well since coming here. And as you guys will see throughout the presentation, having one eye is not going to slow him down whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, he's a little bit of a show off too. <laughs> but this and Reyes came to us six years ago now. They've come a long way since then. I know I'm really proud of them. And you know what? They're pretty excited to be able to come out here and be great ambassadors for their species. Now, since they are permanent residents of the zoo, we are training them. That way we can provide them with the best possible care. Um, I told you how big these boys are. They're over 200 pounds. Uh, so they can willingly participate in all of their own care. It's going to make it a whole lot easier for us. And it makes it really fun for them too. They do really enjoy all their training. And, they... and that's exactly how we work with them. is through what we call positive reinforcement training. This is a really simple technique. Um, if you guys have pets at home, you're probably familiar with it. If you have parents, siblings, a spouse, you're also probably familiar with it. It works the same way. But basically, whenever our sea lions do something correct, we're going to let them know by saying the word good or by blowing a whistle. And then we reward mm -hmm. them with their favorite thing in the whole wide world. Does anybody know what that reward might be? That's a nice juicy fish. Cisco and Ray are getting about 11 pounds of Caplin herring and sardines every single day for doing a great job. But what do you guys think is going to happen if they make a mistake? No fish, you're on the right track. Actually, the people that didn't answer were correct this time because nothing at all is going to happen. We're just going to ignore it for a second or two, then move on to something else or give them another chance to try again. This keeps everything really fun and positive for them, and it makes them very willing participants in their training sessions, and everything we do is done on a voluntary basis, so of course it's going to be very helpful for us. Now, a few ways that we do take good care of them is through uh, one way, probably the most important way, is through what we call husbandry training. Basically, this is anything that involves their health care. It could be as simple as having them lift the flipper so we can look that over, or maybe having them lay down so we could check them over, nose the flipper that way. Um, standing on a scale, like I said, we just weighed them this morning, so we always know how much they weigh. Um, we can have them roll over as well, that way we can check out the underside, check out that belly, maybe clean some of those leaves that have fallen off. They can also give them those eye drops like you saw Reyes do earlier. And you know what? They can even learn to participate in some pretty complex things like having x-rays taken, ultrasounds taken. Um, they'll even lay still while we get a blood sample on them. Or at least they will once they learn that. Our boys are still kind of young for a behavior that complex. But being able to participate in all of their own health care definitely helps us out a lot. I know it's a lot easier on our events too. So another way we take good care of our sea lions is by making sure that they get plenty of exercise. 
Unlike their counterparts in the wild, they don't have to spend their days hunting for fish or avoiding predators. So we do like to find other ways to keep them up and moving. Basically ensure that they still get in a good workout every single day. We have two young active boys, so that's definitely important for them. Well, it looks like uh, Brittany just tossed a ring out. We're going to go see if Cisco can go hunt that down. So just like how you would play fetch with your dog to get him his exercise, it's the same idea. Uh, not only are our sea lions kind of swimming around, getting in their workout, but they're also using all the same adaptations that they would use when hunting for fish. Can you guys look back there towards Reyes? Anybody know what sport he's playing? Yeah, he's playing a little bit of soccer. Um, so sometimes their exercise looks a lot like our exercise too. But we noticed Reyes really enjoyed kicking toys around with his slippers, so I figured why not teach him to play a little bit of soccer? He seems to enjoy it, and uh, he's even better than us, so I think people find it pretty entertaining. And then all this training is really good mental stimulation for them as well. They do seem to really enjoy learning new things, and there's really no limit to what a sea lion can learn. So we'll continue to teach them new stuff throughout their lives. As a matter of fact, Cisco right now is learning how to say yes, uh, so Brittany's been teaching him that. <laughs> and I think he's doing pretty good with it. Well, with our sea lions also, sorry about the wind guys, I know the microphone gets a little tough with that. Um, but our sea lions not only like to learn, but they like to teach as well. And one thing they like to teach everybody is what you can do to help protect sea lions. I know a lot of you probably live here in landlocked Oklahoma and you're thinking there's nothing that I can do that can possibly affect the oceans. Uh, well, if you're thinking that, you're wrong. There's actually a whole lot you can do. Um, and Cisco, I believe, is going to show you the easiest way you can help out sea lions. If you have any trash with you, or especially any plastic bottles, don't do what Brittany's about to do. Don't just throw it anywhere. Instead, do what Cisco's going to do. <laughs> I know, that was really upsetting to have trash end up in your pool, Cisco. But he's going to show Brittany what she should have done with that plastic bottle. And that's going to be to throw it away, or even better yet, go ahead and recycle it. And I'm pretty sure if a sea lion can recycle, you guys can too. And when you do recycle, not only do we keep trash out of the ocean, but we can turn it into new products, like this frisbee that's made entirely out of out of uh, plastic. And Cisco even has a toothbrush that's made entirely out of recycled yogurt cups. Um, all things that we use with our sea lions, as a matter of fact, Ray is playing with a frisbee right now. So we definitely like having those things around. Okay, well with that, we are going to be wrapping up our presentation. Our trainers are gonna continue working with the sea lions for a couple more minutes, so feel free to stick around and watch. And as soon as we are done working with them, we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. But with that, we wanna thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at the Coastal Zoo. Thank you.